In three, two, one. Welcome to another exciting pandemic filled episode of Buddy Talks. Tonight, we have Will. <laughs> Yellow. Uh, he's uh, our correspondent in the field uh, during this pandemic. Who isn't a correspondent in the field? <laughs> Sweet Jesus. Good God. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, uh, he's joining me tonight, and we're going to talk about a couple of things regarding remakes and nostalgia. But, be- but first. first, exactly, <laughs> before we get to that, we're going to go and, uh, you know what, Will, I'll have you do it. Yeah. We're going to go ahead and do the vibe check. Oh, snap. You got, you got to do the five-star rating written text review. Oh, but before we do all that, I want to go ahead and ask you guys. <laughs> Remember to like, subscribe, comment, uh, leave a review on the platform of your choice, because obviously, like all IOHO podcasts, right, they're everywhere. So go to BuddyTalksPodcast.com. It is Buddy po- yep. Podcast, right? You Full, know it. Uh, fully right now. But BuddyTalksPodcast.com. Uh, go ahead and give us that digital hug, because we love digital hugs. And right now, it's the cleanest hug you can give. Exactly. So do humanity a favor and give us a digital hug. Exactly. Give us a digital hug so we can uh, flatten that curve. Move the- <laughs> right along into the vibe check. Will, are you okay? How are you doing? I'm surviving. No. Uh, I think just like everyone is. Um, I... I think at this point, um, it's stressful. I think yeah. everyone's dealing with some form of stress. Oh, yeah. And so I think I'm I'm just, you know, I'm, I'm on that curve just like the rest of the world. So yeah. do what we can. Exactly. How about you? Uh, I'm doing pretty good. Also, this is day 25 for me ever since I've been affected by all of this. Yeah. So it's going to be almost a month where I haven't really gone anywhere. Good. I'm glad you're not keeping count and that it's all just flying <laughs> by so quickly. Exactly. <laughs> you're getting through it and you don't even yeah. realize it's happening. It's Good not to even know. Affecting me in the slightest. Yeah, in right. The slightest. But hey, I got my health. I'm doing well. Live studio audience is doing well. Family is doing well. So as long as we can continue on this trend, because I'd rather not get sick or have anyone get sick. So yeah. 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 Oh, um, I'm looking forward to, I'm, I'm interested into what this looks like afterwards when we're finally past everything, but yeah. I digress. I incline to agree with you. I think we'll have to do another top, like once this is all done and blows over, we'll have to revisit this. Yeah, for yeah. sure. Yeah. But let's get into the meat and potatoes of this episode. Yeah. So as we've mentioned before, especially in in our honest opinion, uh, Final Fantasy VII Remake is coming out this week. I'm excited. A lot of people are actually excited. Um, some people are actually getting it early because they wanted to make sure it would be in people's hands, the physical copy. Gotcha. I'm one of the lucky few who should be getting it a day early. So Nice. I'm excited about that. But that got me to think about remakes. In this day and age, especially with media that we all consume, remakes are—they they seem to be taking the bulk. Remakes, reboots, and all that stuff. Yeah. How many times have we seen Transformers? How many times have we seen Ninja Turtles? We're seeing He-Man again. We're seeing all this stuff again. Uh, Final Fantasy VII was a game that came out originally in 1997, I want to say, and it's what twenty something years later, twenty-three years later. And here we are. We're getting the remake of that game. Jeez. And that remake that's been hacked and slashed and everything in between. Oh, my God. Yeah. It was about five years ago, I want to say, 2015, when uh, they announced that this remake was coming out. It was going through one developer. They scrapped that. And they started doing it all over again in house, like from the ground up, from my understanding. Yeah. <laughs> and here we are. It's the original game was on three discs. This game is going to be multi part. Mm-hmm. We don't know how many discs, mm-hmm. but it's the first few hours is what the original game was. This whole portion, and they stretched it out. And I think people are clocking it in, saying that they're getting through it in about thirty hours. Where originally it took about eight to ten. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> 
you know, and thirty to forty hours. I think that's I think that's a solid RPG. I mean, the, that's uh, at least now. Keep in mind, I haven't kept up with RPGs in yeah. quite a while. But thirty to forty hours was like a solid enough outing. You know what I mean? Like yeah. for you to play through a game, um, be able to build some experience, and it give you enough time to be like, you know what? I can play this again. Yeah. You know. Now I know some of the more expansive ones. You're definitely hitting hundred plus hours. Oh, easy. Um, you know, through one playthrough, like I understand, you know, those are a little bit more in depth. Cool. Um, but I think solid, you know, solid 30 to 40 hours is something that um, they're not cheating you at all. You know what yeah. I mean? Like getting some good gameplay there. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the part that gets me like that, that kind of blows me away is the fact that this is all the beginning portion of the original game. So they expanded it so much. I'm just curious as to what's all been changed have they actually touched the story yeah have they started to meddle with things yeah because one of the things i think of often spoiler alert for people who may not have seen this movie was star trek what was the second one star trek you uh, which oh, are we talking modern abrams? ones the abrams yeah uh yeah um uh oh with that benedict was a... cumberbatch uh <laughs> yeah the one with khan yeah. uh it wasn't the Wrath of Khan. What was that one called? I don't remember what it was called. Star Trek Two. I'll <laughs> look it up here. <laughs> uh, Abrams. Uh, Sorry, it's not. Uh... Yeah, I can't. Wow, I, uh, it doesn't. Even... What the heck's going on? I feel like there we go. Into darkness. Sweet Into Jesus. darkness. Okay. Yeah. That is when I think of uh, movies that are kind of a remake but they mm. spin the original story on its ear that's the one i always think of because a lot of things that happened in the original star trek the wrath of khan they yeah. switched it up on here like the person who ended up getting killed that's awesome is that which one is that shuri this one's shuri nice. my, my cat tax <laughs> yes um they they change who ended up getting killed and uh, ends up getting regenerated using uh, the Genesis whatever, and yep. they they changed a bunch of stuff in the story. I'm just curious as to if that's gonna happen here with Final Fantasy VII because I don't want them to change anything like that. I'd much rather go into detail regarding other aspects, but I don't yeah. want them to change the core story. Gotcha. And. And Final Fantasy VII, um, I mean, was was huge. Yes. Like I, and it, it's maybe maybe it's like highly debatable, mm -hmm. um, but for me, from my recollection of everything, right, mm -hmm. seven was one of those that like will forever be one of the top, if yes. not the like, you know, best Final Fantasy. And then I think Final Fantasy X was the other one that was like ten was also just as awesome. Loved. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. it's so I mean, it's 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 great that like, hey, they're going, hey, you know, this one that everyone loved, we're going to go ahead and we're going to bring it to you um, and we're going to give you more of that. I think my fear, if I were big into this, would be how much of it have they watered down now? Yeah. How much of this is superfluous? You know what I mean? Like stuff that I don't I never needed to know. Yes. And it's all like and so before it was tightly packed, mm -hmm. but it gave me everything I needed as opposed to now. Like, well, now we just want to string you out. And I'm not saying that. There's not money and time invested in it because, from what I've seen, game looks gorgeous. Yes. Right, thirty to forty hours of gameplay. I mean, you know, uh, gameplay mechanics being added as well. I've read up on it some. Like, they're they're giving you more. Sure. So this isn't me like shitting on the developers at all. Yeah. But more so the business aspect of it, right? Yes. How much of this are you guys just nickel and diming your fans? Exactly. Because it is being drawn out into multiple games so we're not having to spend the one-time fee for this game no we're gonna have to yeah. pay installments we don't even know how many yeah and and what if this turns into and i know that it's it's not the same but what if this turns into kingdom hearts mm -hmm. right where now they've drawn it out across and let's say they do two or three games and you guys get hey number one was amazing number two solid follow-up and then by the time you finally get that third one it was just all like yo too little, too late, yeah. right? Now we don't have everything. And maybe that's just me thinking too far ahead, yeah. but it just, it, it, there's a lot of room here for error. Yeah, and that, that's one of the things I'm afraid of because how much time is going to be in between these games? 
Yep. Because I pay what Kingdom Hearts the first one came out I want to say in two thousand one two thousand two, the second one came out in two thousand five, then we had all sorts of spinoffs, and then Kingdom Hearts three came out in twenty nineteen. Yeah. Damn. That's a yeah. long gap in between. I haven't even finished the game. I was excited for it, got my hands on. It's like I don't, I don't even <laughs> really care to play this right now. Yeah, I'll never. get to it eventually, but I think I kind of grew up going and replaying the old games a little bit. Yeah, it was like this is some of this is a little cringy. Some yeah. of this didn't age that well. Yep, but. I'm really, really hoping they don't drop the ball on this because it's one of the beloved things for me. Yeah. Well, and and uh, I, it, your excitement for it, I think, um, I'm, I'm interested to see like where you're at a week from now, right? Yeah. Because for me, I'm like, you've been waiting for Persona for a while. Yeah. And recently, I mean, in, in the past few months, you invested a lot of time into that. So yes. it's all like, okay, well then now, now, right? Are we getting, um, are, are you going to be able to invest the time needed into Final Fantasy? And then the other thing is that if they don't hook you, mm-hmm. if they don't get you, right, within the first few hours of gameplay, yes, it's going to be one of those things where you're going to go like, okay, like I'm enjoying it, but not enough, right? And again, it's all in the back of your head where you're going to put it down and you're going to pick up Persona again. Yes. Who knows when you touch Final Fantasy. Exactly. That's why I, I've been very strategic. So Persona... I started playing through and I'm about maybe 18 hours in and it's okay. solid. It's amazing. I, and that's just the first dungeon. So and I think last time we pulse checked you right yes. I think on, on IOHO. <laughs> yes. And I think you were maybe an hour and a half into it. Yes. So here you are now 18 hours into it. Thanks Corona. Exactly. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but 18 hours into it and you're, and you're throttling. It. Oh yeah. I'm throttling it because I was, I thought about it. I was like, okay, Final Fantasy VII's coming out in a, like, a couple days. Yeah. I don't want to get too knee-deep into Persona mm-hmm. because that's going to make it harder for me to put it down. Yeah. And by the time this is dropped, it should be out, right? No, it's going to be coming out a day or so. I'll have it the day after this drops. After this? Okay. Yeah. So So, I, I I'm actually making the call to put persona to the side a little bit because i'm enjoying everything the director's cut i'm enjoying the definitive edition of this game so far okay. yeah. it hasn't let me down all the quality yeah. of life changes great now that it took me 138 hours to play through the original there's about 30 hours of extra on top of this one so i started to wait out 30 something hours for final fantasy 160 for persona let me go ahead and handle persona after final fantasy yeah, I get that. So I'm playing Monster Hunter in the meantime because those are quick hits. <laughs> nice. Uh, and at least you've got the self-discipline, right, yeah. to, to understand that of yourself, right, to go ahead and rotate through. I, I mean, the countless amount of players out there, right, who, who don't have that. And, and so now they are running the risk. You know what I mean? And, and for you at least, right, it's another – like Final Fantasy is in direct competition with another RPG that is also huge and time-consuming. Yes. There are other game players out there that, that don't exactly have that competing, but there are other games you have to look at, right, yes. that do impact that. Um, I, and I know they're not, again, I completely understand they're not the same types of games, but you've got your Call of Duties out mm-hmm. there. Um, you do have your mon- Monster Hunters, which still have a uh, pretty um, heavy following. Yeah. Uh, you've got people who are still playing the, uh, what is it, the Master Chief Collection of yep. Halo. Yep. You know, that, like... Animal that Crossing. Got, uh, yeah, they, they've got other... Animal Crossing, which exactly, which recently dropped, and um, what was it, Zelda recently, uh, right? There was another one not too long ago, uh, Link's Awakening? Yeah, no, Link's not- Awakening. Uh, yeah, the Link's Awakening was a Game Boy uh, remake. The remake, right? Yeah. Okay. So like Another you've remake. got <laughs> yeah. So you've got all all these other games that are out there that are definitely vying for their attention, and like and you've really got to sell it. You've yeah. really got to, and not even sell it um, because at that point they put it in your hands, right? But now you've really got to make it worth the investment. Mm-hmm. And there's there's a lot riding on that. I'm very interested to hear. What, what the backlash is a month later because it reminds me of um, Anthem, right? Anthem oh, was God. 
Yeah. Hugely hyped game, right? Um, great visuals, like really, really concept is amazing. Yeah. And look at how many players fell off where now it's a constant joke that like people drop $60 on this and there's nothing there for them to go back to. Yeah. Right. And it, and I'm trying to remember there was another game not too long ago that did the same thing. Widely hyped, right? There was a lot of excitement or oh, um, uh, destiny, destiny suffers from that. Yeah. Yep. Destiny two suffers from that where again, widely hyped and even though that they've got all this dlc like all this expandable content to build off of that like unfortunately they continue to drop you know what i mean in game players as each thing comes up because there's not enough there for yeah. the people to gravitate and and stay you know what i mean like on planted on that soil it's just it's not happening no zero gravity they just jump off and they float away exactly there's nothing sticky for people to come back to and no. that's the thing that's interesting like Destiny 1, people were into that all day. And then Destiny 2 came out, and people weren't as sticky with it. Mm -hmm. Monster Hunter, the basic concept of the game is very simple. The gaming loop is there, and it gets people, and it hooks people. The great yeah. thing about that is all the free content that they, they're still pumping out. Yeah. So... It, it's like the formula is there. It's there for what it takes in order to get these people hooked. Yep. But people are dropping the ball. Yep. And that's what I'm afraid of because remember Duke Nukem Forever? <laughs> the game that took forever to even come out. And when it finally did come out, it was a letdown. Oh, major letdown. That's what I didn't I'm get a chance of. to put my hands on it. But nope. fans, fans of the series and even just your casual game player alike were widely disappointed by yep. it. It's unfortunate. And that's what I'm afraid of. I, I I love Final Fantasy VII so much. I played the hell out of the original. Yeah. I don't want them to mess it up. I don't want them to tarnish this because I'm an older gamer. And it's interesting. I talk to so many people now, and people weren't born when the game came out. So they never went back and touched it. They never visited yeah. it. Yeah. Back when I was growing up, you knew of the game or you played the game. Yeah. Now people are like, I don't know anything about it. Yeah. I don't know anything about the game. It was before my time, but I love Minecraft and yeah. Fortnite. <laughs> as much as I want to crap on Minecraft, it's one of those things that like my kids got into. Yeah. Um, and, and I know this is a slightly off of it a little bit, but I, I can respect the fact that like, it's one of those games where you literally have to build everything from the ground up. Yeah. Um, and it's it's always amazing to me to see what my kids have built in that world. You yeah. know, where it's all like, you did that literally brick by brick. Exactly. So props to that. You know, it's, it's digital Legos. And so because of that, as much as I can't get into it, I can't hate on it. No. Um, I'm hoping that there's that there's a, a lot of appeal here for RPG players, right, of a newer generation, just uh -huh. like you're saying, right? Some of these game players are, um, you know, younger. They don't really know this franchise uh, and, and maybe not even know this franchise, but know this game. Yes. Because I don't think some of the newer ones have actually delivered in a way to, like, solidify newer players as, like, oh, yeah, I'm a hardcore Final Fantasy yeah. fan. You know, and it's all, like... No, you don't know what that is. Yeah. You know what I mean? If you're a hardcore Final Fantasy, you know, fan, uh, Final Fantasy fan for playing 13, you know, yeah. or for playing online, yeah. like you don't know the game the way some of my generation, exactly. you know, have Grew up loved and played that game. Yep. So it, it'll be interesting to see how many of those they actually convert into fans. Yes. Um, and and again, this could this could be a solid play. It is it's still Square Enix, right? That uh, releasing this. Yes, yeah, Square Enix is releasing this. The original so, was Square Soft before them and Enix even became something. My yeah yeah yeah. 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 Um, I, but I think uh, largely this is a lot of the same same development team or they got back a lot of the old team. Four. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So I don't know. I'm it, it's there's potential here for them to actually like build a solid game and kind of start day one here again. You know what I mean? Whether, whether we realize it's not really day one, it's a remake. Fine. Exactly. And it's going to be interesting. Is, is it going to have the same impact that it once did before? Yeah. Are that's people going to see it as trophy and cliche? Because one of the biggest things was the battle system was overhauled completely. 
Yeah. I know you and uh, I think Adam and a couple other people, they're kind of turned off by the turn-based combat. Yeah. This is all real time. Yeah, I can't speak for Adam, but yes, turn-based um, you know, fighting is not anything I was a fan of. Yeah. This is one of those, and I know that I'll probably piss off real RPG players, yeah. but Fable was one of those quote-unquote RPGs that action I actually RPG. enjoyed. Yeah. Because, exactly, because it, it is. It's an action RPG. It's that real-time fighting. Yes. Um, it, it made me appreciate RPG games in general because I was like, oh, all this other stuff. I, I understand turn base is different, but yes. to, to understand what goes into building an RPG, it made me appreciate that a little bit more. Yes. So, yeah, it'll be, I, I mean, even that for some of the veterans, you know, that's a, that's a change of pace. It it's is. A different, it's a different approach to, to a game. It's, very, it's completely different because uh, you go from being just the tactician who controls the different characters at your pace to having to do it all in real time. Yeah. And it might be too much for people. It might turn off some gamers because it might just be too much happening. Yeah. Like for me, Persona 5 is a traditional Japanese RPG. Turn-based, very story heavy, very deep. Uh they go into some philosophy and they go into like a lot of stuff dealing with cognitions and persona and all that yeah. stuff like from that sort of like standpoint and it's going to be very interesting to see what Final Fantasy 7 did cuz I'll be honest the original ending in the original game sucked did it I felt it was it was very weak <laughs> because it's like okay we stopped this thing time jump 500 <laughs> years this is the world now it's like well what happened to all Every- of these people that I followed for 60 hours yeah oof I don't I don't know what happened to them. Yeah. Was it was it the same letdown as uh Chief, what are you doing? I'm gonna finish this fight. Black screen. It, it was kinda like that that's it? <laughs> it yeah. it was kind of in vain of that, because it, it's I think the only kicker was like with Halo, you played a lot of time with it and you did a lot of that, but I don't know. I, I didn't get as connected to these characters just because you're supposed to. Halo is kind of a stand-in for you. No, yeah, yeah, no, I get that. I, I'm, I'm watching referencing more that yeah. that disappointment at the end where I stared at that screen for a little bit, like yeah. it's loading something, right? <laughs> it's like no, this like isn't it's loading it, something, right? Yeah, yeah, like no, like I'm like I'm ready to jump into the next. Oh no, we're done. Oh yeah, that's it. We're done. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I guess in that vein, yes, it is like it was kind of like that the original yeah. ending i went back i was like this is this is kind of trash <laughs> <laughs> i'm probably gonna get some flack for it but like yeah. everything else was done so well so when we got to that ending it was kind of a letdown yeah yeah yeah, yeah. i i mean i can i can understand that um it was it's one of those things where uh like fable was one of those series that i never i never really got to complete that yeah because by the time they reached the final game it 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 was different. It played different. Yeah. It, you know, like I think Peter Molyneux or whatever, like was no longer behind the the wheel until bit. Which is great. Like it, yeah. <laughs> you he, think so? He he had lots of lofty goals that he would want to do, and the delivery was not there. No, you, and you're right because I remember I remember watching his pitch for what Fable One was supposed to be and yeah. how that was nowhere near that. Yeah. Um, and how he did it again for Fable 2. But by the time then he left, you know, and then Fable 3 came along, I'm like, this is a shell of what it was, like, even what it was initially. Yeah. Like, this is, you know, that passion wasn't there. Like, I get it. At some point, your aspirations are more than what you can be given, you know, to, uh, graphically, like, processing power-wise. Like, I get it. At some point, you just, you have to cut corners in some areas. Yeah. But then at some point it's just a uh, it's crackdown three. Oh god. Oh hell, to me it's, it's crackdown two. I mean <laughs> Yeah, even that wasn't as good as the first. <laughs> the first one I was hooked, man, but then Crackdown Two came out. I was like this yeah, isn't I was like Oh, this isn't as fun. No. No. I don't want but to then, get every orb. Uh, yeah, and then I played part of Crackdown Three and I was all like, Ugh. Yeah, I didn't even <laughs> touch Crackdown Three. I totally forgot about it. Ooh. No thanks. Hard pass on that. <laughs> yeah, I'm good. But, I'm good. but your thoughts on just the remakes in general? How how do you feel about that when everything is like endless remakes? 
So I, I feel like um, I feel like first saying hi to the live studio audience, um, <laughs> and then <laughs> William says hi. <laughs> she says hi back. <laughs> What'd you say? He saw you hand me something. <laughs> um, but anyways. Um, Remakes are always interesting, right? Because, I, and I know that uh, for anyone who does actually like keep up with me, you know, over on IOHO, I'm more about the the films, right, than I am uh, more more about movies than I am on games, yeah. right? I don't I don't keep up with gaming anymore. Yeah. So remakes, though, I mean, they span across everything, right? Yeah. Comics get rebooted, films get remade, or um, or semi rebooted with you know awkward like. Um, remakes and stuff like that that you know they they follow continuity but don't whatever Ghostbusters answered a call yeah yeah there you go that's a great example yeah um the reboot quills or whatever the hell they call them yeah but so I I can understand that to an extent there right that hey um we want to appeal to those of you who have who have been there from the beginning right there's something here that is loved and because of that we want to we want to tell a more updated story, right? Yeah. Um, but at the same time, we want to appeal to a new audience. Yeah. Uh, we got into a, a, a pretty heated art, uh, discussion once with Adam mm -hmm. um, about, about I think, something about that, where it was like, well, this isn't for you. Like, yeah. maybe it was Ghostbusters, right? That like, no. Was it, it Ninja been, Turtles? It might have been Turtles. Yeah, it it's might have not, been. The, the, yeah, those new ones the, were not for me. Yeah, like, and and that's exactly it, right? Like, hey, you've you've got to take that into consideration. So fine, right? These games are coming out. Um, Call of Duty Modern Warfare, yeah. and then Call of Duty Modern Warfare Two. Yeah, right. I was big when Infinity Ward was doing those. Remember yeah. that they they jumped back and forth between yep. the two different studios, right? The Infinity Ward games, I thought leaps and bounds better yeah. than um, what the hell's the other studio now that I can't even because they're the ones that are actually spearheading it now. Yeah, I don't remember. No, no, no. It went back to Infinity Ward, yeah, but with the same developing team because Infinity Ward fell apart or whatever. But anyways, um, when you when you look right at like when I looked at Modern Warfare 2, I thought to myself, like, this is amazing, right? Mm -hmm. the, this is one of those games that kind of impacted multiplayer games all over the place, yeah. right? Halo did that when when Halo 2 came out and oh, they yeah. went online. They shaped Xbox Live. Yeah. Like that is what was modeled. You know what I mean? Like it was modeled after that. Like that's how you interacted with other players and sent whatever. And so like I get that. There's that nostalgia there. And recently, for those of you who've been keeping up, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 Remastered, the single player campaign, was re-released yeah. on Xbox Live and I think on, on PlayStation or whatever, right? And and then the Modern Warfare Warzone, right, which is the, you know, 100 versus, right, like yeah. game or whatever, um, was released for free or whatever. Like that was you know, let out. And, and, and the idea there, I think is that, Hey, you remember this? Yep. You remember how awesome this was? Like everybody remembers that. Right. But at the same time, you've got the players who do play call of duty now, or who do play halo now, where like people are actually looking forward to the next halo game. And I could give a fuck less. Yeah. But the idea that that, that remake nostalgia is there. I think that fuels and maybe I'm wrong, but a large percentage of these games. Final Fantasy will will be, I believe that the majority of the game players will be fans of the series. Yes. Right? Fans of the original. I yes. think that that's what's going to carry a lot of this. And those are the ones that are going to go ahead and convince their younger friend or their teenager or whatever the case is. Because... Hell, I'm gonna be honest. I'm in my late 30s. Yeah. Like, I've got kids that at this point can play it, and I could have easily gone. I loved this, what it was before. Yeah. Let's play whatever this is now together. Yeah. And and so I think that this is what they're. Uh, I mean, it's I think the perfect word banking on. Oh, yeah, that's what they're definitely hoping for. Definitely hoping for Treyarch was the other studio. Thank you. Yeah. Treyarch. I remember that because they were the ones who did Spider-Man the movie two game yep. that was one of the best Spider-Man yeah. games ever. Yeah, and, and 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 I think Treyarch actually, uh, or was it NeverSoft that did um, 
the the Tony Hawk games. It was NeverSoft. It was NeverSoft. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, but I the original and, Spider-Man games were NeverSoft. Ugh. Yeah. So yeah. So it, it, but it is. It's exactly like it's exactly that, right? That there was a that that um, that feeling of like this brings back great memories that I want to play on, and so. Um, and you and I kind of touched on this just before that, like now with everyone being trapped at home, right? Mm-hmm. Nostalgia uh, is comforting. Oh yeah. So this could be this could be the perfect storm for some of these remakes. Oh, definitely, definitely. And, I don't know. Uh, it'll be interesting to see how that plays out. Because I know a lot of like Animal Crossing was ended up being one of the biggest. It's, cool. I think, the biggest Switch game sold. I'm grabbing water. Continue, please. Yeah, because I think the timing of it was perfect. It came out where a lot of people are at home. Um, Live Studio Audience actually picked it up because I've been playing a bunch of other games. So I, you know, I, I've been occupying myself with that. So she's yeah. like, well, I want something to play. I'm going to get Animal Crossing. And she's having a blast with it. Yeah. So it, it it's... It's prime pickings right now, I feel, because yeah. you have a captive audience. You have people who are going to have time on their hands because not everyone is an essential person in society, quote unquote, <laughs> essential. Yeah, thank you. So, I was like, a little bit of shade. <laughs> <laughs> so, it, it's some people have time to invest into these sort of things and they've been waiting yeah. for it. So, if it comes out, and you fail, that says something. Yeah. Because yeah. I was looking at reviews. Uh, Persona 5, The Royal, which is a yeah. game that originally came out in 2017. This is essentially the director's cut. It's yeah. getting like perfect 10 scores. Nice. So I've, I've seen a couple of Final Fantasy ones now. Um, I've seen like eights. I've seen some nines. I haven't seen really any perfect scores yet. Yeah. But... I'm, I'm going to be honest. I'm going to be honest with you. I think some of that, some of that idea, uh, you know, the the fact that it's not getting those perfect tens, yeah, is because some of these reviewers have been around long enough to have played the original. That definitely. And they're like, mm, this doesn't quite hit that. Exactly. And that's unfortunate. Yeah, that because one of the things I saw was you know there was a lot of new school stuff. There's fetch quests. Yeah. I think fetch quests are it's more of a modern gaming trope. You didn't really have that in the original. You didn't have some shopkeeper saying, hey, kill 10 rats for me. You didn't have any of that sort of thing. That's yeah. like added into a lot of modern games now to make the game artificially longer. Longer, yep. So you're getting some of these things. And also, we originally heard about this five years ago. So that's five years on top. They missed the 20th anniversary big time. They yeah. missed you know, a lot of this stuff, so... It has time is working against it. Yep. So I I'm very skeptical. I want it to be good, but I think I've been let down in the past by so many things that part of me is kind of expecting it to not be what I want it to be. Yeah. Yeah. I uh, I'm I'm looking forward to as I get older. Right. I'm waiting for the one game, whether it's a remake or reboot or whatever the case is, that really makes me go. Okay. Yeah. I want to play this. Yeah. You know, because <clears throat> the last time I was excited for a game was Red Dead. Um, yeah. All right. And I mean, it's a good game. I haven't completed it. Um, but I, it didn't grab me the way that the original did, right? The way the original, like, really, I, I played through. And I'm not even big into Westerns, man, but yeah. I played the hell out of that game. Yeah. There's something about and it. I remember, I remember being awed, you know, by it, like, and not ODD, like, yeah. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, You're as awestruck. I played, yeah, exactly. Uh, as I played through it, um, and and as beautiful as the new one is, like I'm just, it's not quite grasping me there, you know. Yeah. Um, but it, it, I I do like I still hope that there's something. I still buy games for my Switch. Yeah. Um, I I recently did. I played some of that Call of Duty Warzone. Yeah. And it's one of those things where like, it was nice to run through, you know. Um, and I played a few rounds. I've quickly jumping up through the ranks and I'm not anything all that high or whatever, but you start at zero and all of a sudden it's all like, Oh, and I'm at seven or whatever the case yeah. is, you know? And it's all like, well, this is kind of fun. Yeah. Um, 
I enjoy aspects of this, but it's starting to blur, right? Yeah. Uh, it's starting to blur a lot of what those games are, right? Fortnite differentiates itself because you can build things, right? Mm-hmm. I played some of Pub, uh, PUBG. PUBG. I played some of, uh, what was the other one? Um, oh, Call of Duty Mobile, actually. Yeah. yeah. Call of Duty Mobile, I think I enjoy more than Warzone. Really? Um, yeah, which is very interesting because... As I played through Call of, uh, through Warzone, I'm like, yeah, this game is pretty. And they've got this game mode where you've got to go collect all this cash or whatever. Mm-hmm. But it really reminds me of, and it's a it's a game series that I love even more than Call of Duty, mm-hmm. Battlefield. It reminds me of Battlefield. You've got this huge landscape. You've got the you know the ability to to call in vehicles and or use vehicles and call in you know for all these other like airstrikes and whatever the heck, yeah. and it really does remind me of a game on a bigger scale, but it just doesn't have that little spark yeah. that Battlefield had. Yeah. You know, it's still that quick fire hit marker thing, whereas Battlefield was more about like, oh, so and so is almost a mile away and they're running and the elevation has changed. And so because of that, I've actually got a, I got a account for where the target and shoot and watch that bullet ahead. Yeah. And account for the fact that it drops headshot. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. (laughs) You know, you get that satisfaction. You don't really get that here. At least I don't really get that here. Yeah. Cause you played battlefield. You, you know, that game inside and out. Yep. So, you know the yeah. potential of what that is. Yeah. And so, I'm, I'm again, I'm looking forward to when we check in down the road here after you've played some of this, right? Mm-hmm. To see that, like, with the change in gameplay for Final Fantasy, right? Mm-hmm. Like, did it did it still give you that that sense of control, right? That, like, you need out yeah. of this type of game. Yeah. Did it build that world for you enough for you to go, yes, I want to go find those orbs. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yes. I don't mind doing these BS missions because it's adding to something bigger. Exactly. And so it fuels you, you know, to continue on. Yeah. Yeah. It's definitely going to be interesting to see how I feel about this, especially, I mean, it's persona came out like two weeks prior. It's, it has that going up against it. That's ballsy on both parties. Yeah. That's, that's ballsy on persona's part. Right. And for that company to go, you know what? We know Final Fantasy is coming out. Fuck it. <laughs> and the thing is, initially, they were coming out after, like a month after. But then Ooh. Final Fantasy is like, you know what? We're getting pushed back a month from March 3rd to April 10th. Gotcha. And Persona's gotcha. like, well, we're just going to ride it out. March 31st, yeah. we're doing we're it. We're not watching. This is yeah. where we're at. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then for, for now, for, for Final Fantasy to be like, I mean, we're Final Fantasy. There's some. There's got to be some sort of hubris there, right? Where they're yeah. just all like, oh, we're not worried about it. Yeah. We've already pushed back enough. We, we're we going to pull the trigger. Who cares if it's two weeks? Yeah. People have already played that. People want to play this. Exactly. I mean, they sold out on the collector's edition, and that was 300 something dollars. Ooh, sweet baby. Yeah. Sweet baby. It's a dope collector's edition. Yeah. It's awesome. <laughs> So, out of all the reviews that are out, right? Out of all the games actually that are out, I know right now those are the two that are on your radar, oh, right? Yeah, yeah. Do you, and, and maybe you don't keep up with an, uh, gaming enough mm-hmm. too, I think you do. Mm-hmm. Is there a sleeper hit that you think could completely derail the whole thing? Is there a game that like you've kind of, you know, kept tabs on and, and has the potential to completely fuck up your plans and like, oh well. Anytime oh, soon. Looks like I'm- I think anytime soon. The only yeah. thing that is kind of in- interesting to me is uh, Trials of Mana, just because that was an old Super Nintendo game that got a full okay. remake. Um, the other one that I was thinking about, I, I believe, got pushed back, and that was was it The Last of Us Two. Oh yeah, yeah, it did that was supposed to be May, yep. and they're actually um, there. I think. Uh, they're refunding the digital copies, yeah. uh, digital purchases of that game. Yeah. Uh, which is interesting. Yeah, because The Last of Us was arguably my most favorite game on the PS3. That is one I just couldn't put down during a time where I didn't really play a lot of games. I could not yeah. put that down. And I think you played that after. I think you played that after I did, and you were like, yo. Yeah. 
<laughs> yes, I did. Yeah. yeah. You were like, yo, this game. And I was like, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that one, it, I got it as a gift. I didn't usually play any survival horror or anything like that, but something yeah. about this really compelled me. And I was in. I've been waiting for the sequel, and I think my interest has kind of waned a little bit. So, uh, and and just to kind of piggyback, the, you know, off the fact that we are talking about games here, yeah. uh, I hope it's okay to transition. So, yeah, that's fine. The 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 next uh, Xbox and the next PlayStation have been announced, right? They've yeah. leaked out um, all kind, or not leaked out. I'm sorry, but they've officially kind of announced stuff, like, yeah. what these cons- consoles are going to look like. Um, I think even today they released what the new Xbox controller is going to look like. PlayStation and, controller. Uh, the PlayStation controller, yes, yeah, you're right. Um, but at this point, right, like you're seeing more and more of these things. Um, is there? You've got a PlayStation Pro, right? Yes. That was your Spider-Man purchase. Yes. Like, you're there. Yeah, I'm on. I'm on the Xbox One S, right, Before which was the, the second iteration. Yeah, of it, because they did that, and then the second iteration is where you can do the 4K built yeah. in, whatever. And then the cool. big daddy was the X, right? X, yeah, exactly right. Uh, so that's uh, that's, and then you've got your PlayStation, you know, your your Pro. Yeah. So now <clears throat> this has become like a newer thing in gaming, right? Yeah. Where um, before it was the console, and then eventually the sequel. And yeah. if I remember correctly, it was a four year cycle. Five year cycle. Five, year, right? right. Um, and then they started this bullshit here, where it's the console. And then the refreshed console. Mm-hmm. And then now this last cycle was where they go, not just the refresh, and now the pro version of that console, yeah. right? We've updated the guts yeah. for the same thing. And then now we're finally going to get a sequel. So you're on, again, and I'm sorry for the, the, the kind of rundown on no, everything no, there. But now you're on the pro. You're yeah. on the most recent version of the oldest console, right? Yeah. Like. <clears throat> here, like, are you hyped now to jump? Especially with games giving you a hundred plus hours of gameplay at this stage in the game. Like, if I remember, this is this holiday season. Yeah. If, if that still stands, we'll see if that yeah, still holds. Yeah, but exactly. But so, like, are is there any interest here in you going? All right, I'm ready to jump. I'm ready to jump on that day one. Yes. Only because. It's backwards like compatible. I, I was about to say, I feel like I know what you're going to say. That's the only reason, because it's backwards compatible. Yeah. Will I jump on a day one? Probably not. Because, like I said, it's backwards compatible, so I still have this library of stuff. Yeah. I don't have a need to jump to the new one yet. I don't... And... and, and Let's be honest. For anyone who's yeah. not aware of this or whatever, no console gives you right mm-hmm. peak performance until three or four years. More more often near the end of their life cycle. Oh, That's yeah. when you see the best looking ver- like games that they've released. Yeah. That's when they've really learned how to navigate the architecture 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 yeah. that they put in that box. Yep. And that's when you really get to see the full capabilities of what that console could offer you, except for the PlayStation 3. Yeah, because they still haven't figured out how to unlock the cell, cell, processor, cell processor. or whatever. That thing will cure the coronavirus in like... Oh, it probably could. We could probably go into Tron World in the PlayStation 3. <laughs> At some point, Sony's just going to re-release the PlayStation 3 as is. And they're like, we figured out how to program it for it, for it guys. Yep. The games look amazing. That could be what the PlayStation 5 is. That's why it had the quick turnaround, because we already have this stuff. Let's just go ahead and redo it. It's like what happened with Final Fantasy 15. It was originally supposed to be this project, Final Fantasy 13 Versus is what it was. Yeah. And then it it didn't come out. It didn't come out. They went through Final Fantasy 13, 13 2, 13 3. A couple years later... Final Fantasy 13 versus is now Final Fantasy 15. 15. <laughs> like, yo, you have no idea what was going on here. It's like you did an accidental project for school and you just kind of slept on it. It's like, oh, I'm just going to change the date. Here we go. <laughs> and then they told you, congratulations, you get to graduate early. Yes. <laughs> They're like, do you have that paper that you were supposed to turn in? Yeah, here it is. And they're like, oh, you're done with high school. Let's get you to college. Exactly. <laughs> that's, 
<laughs> exactly what it is. Sweet Jesus. So, yeah, I, I know, and you're not really a gamer. I know you were excited for The Witcher 3 on Switch. You got it, and you maybe played half hour. I think I've only been through <laughs> now an hour and a half worth of gameplay. Yeah. Do I feel like I wasted my money? No. No. Um, I can see. I can see what uh, was invested in it. You know, and it's it's like uh, what was the, there's a couple games um, that I've I've done that with where I purchased it and not played through most of it. Oh, um, Elder Scrolls. Oh God, I, I can't. Elder play. Scrolls is one of those where like I played one, I enjoyed what it was, and I think I purchased two sequels after that. Yeah. Right. Um, uh, what's this one here that uh, sci-fi opera one? The, oh, uh, Mass Effect. Mass Effect. Yeah, I love that. That's one where I think I purchased three of them. Yeah. Never finished one. Yeah. A single one. But the thing is that, again, I respect what the studio did. You know what I mean? I, I got some enjoyment out of it, and that was worth it for me. Um, yeah. $50, $60 for a game, when you think about how much time you put into it, you know, compared to how much you pay to go watch a movie or whatever, yeah. like, I felt like I got my bang for my buck, and I'm I'm okay, okay. with that. Yeah. You know? So I got The Witcher 3. I enjoyed that. I got Overwatch for the third time. Yeah. I've got it on my Xbox One. I've got it. I had it on my PlayStation Four, right? Yeah. Um, and now I've got it on the Switch. Do I feel like it's money wasted? No. I think you own three iterations of that yeah, game, don't I you? <laughs> I, I had the Xbox version, sold it. Then I got the PlayStation, and I got the PC. Yeah. So it's it just again, it's one of those things where I get the enjoyment that I need out of it. I understand that hey, I could have gone and back and played it on whatever. No, I wanted it for this for a reason. Exactly. I feel like I got. I feel like I got my money, you know, my, my money's worth there. Yeah. Um, so no major complaints there. I'm, I'm nowhere near the gamer that I used to be. Good God. And was I on some sort of high horse for a while there because yeah. I played so much and I read so much about it yeah. that like, I felt like, well, if I'm going to have a discussion with someone, I'm, I'm going to have a discuss like an actual in-depth yeah. you know what I mean? discussion about gaming, not with a casual gamer. Yeah. At this point, I am a casual gamer. Yeah. I've I've grown out of it to some extent, and there's nothing really there that's pulling me into it the way that it used to. Is there potential for that to happen? Oh, for sure. Yeah. I hadn't played anything for of the Witcher games. Yeah. I pre-ordered, and, and I think we spoke about this yeah. on IOHO. Yeah. I pre-ordered Witcher Three. That was paid for it, before I even signed, sealed, delivered. You were ready. Yeah. I was like, I'm owning this game, whether or not I ever launch it. Yeah. They got my money. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. So, so the potential is still there. There's still the opportunity, right, for something to really grab hold of me and put me back into it. Yeah. Um, for all I know, man, as of this recording, I've only played a little bit of Warzone. For all I know, maybe that's what does it. Maybe yeah. that, that turns out to be amazing. And because of that, then I actually purchased a single player campaign. Yeah. And I turn into a Call of Duty gamer again, or whatever the case is. The, the 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 potential for any of these games to pull me in completely exists. Um, I don't ever count any genre out, no matter what it is, because uh, although we had spoken about it not too long ago, I didn't know what Animal Crossing was. Mm -hmm. Final Fantasy, again, I've had my hands on it. The possibility exists that you tell me this thing's awesome. We could be sitting you know, side by side, and I could be like, oh, no, I like this. Yeah. And then that gets me into purchasing yet another big game. Exactly. Like it's possible, it exists. Let's let's see what's out there. Yep. You know, um, uh, I mean, I'm not trapped home because I'm the <laughs> quote unquote essential, essential employee. <laughs> um, but uh, that doesn't mean that in my wait, try that one more time. You're gonna break it up a little bit and give me something. Oops, you cut out a little bit. Try yeah, it one more it time. It froze up. Yeah. Um, so let me uh, jump back, right? Yeah. The, the, the possibility still exists, right? That the gaming uh, world can still provide me something that in my downtime, I go, let me grab that controller. Yeah. So. Yeah. Like, I didn't mm -hmm. know that you were as into, uh... oh, what was that game? You're one... It was free roaming and you could just destroy everything. You had a grappling hook. Just cause. Oh, just cause. I didn't know you're into the Just Cause games, but yeah, he's like purchased I just, every one of those games. I just I go and destroy. <laughs> Don't know anything about the story, but I, I think I've, <laughs> I've completed one of their camp maybe Just Cause two campaign or whatever. Purchased every single one of those games. Yeah. I love the fact that I can go around and do whatever the fuck I want. Yeah. On grappling, <laughs> I'm okay with that. Yeah, 
no I, I thought that was funny. I was like, I didn't, I didn't think you liked this game. <laughs> yep. Yeah. So uh, again, deep down inside, yes, man, I'm a lover of it. I, I, I appreciate all of the work that goes into gaming, right? Yeah. In the same way that, in the same way that nostalgia comforts people, right? Mm-hmm. Um, that it, it gives them that like, ah, this feels good, right? Uh, while playing the game, yeah, I I love seeing the work put into games mm-hmm. because when I grab a controller and I run through these worlds and I go, man, look at the not 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 always the detail, but the effort put into creating. Oh yeah, an experience. I I just I can't help but go. This is awesome. Here's my sixty dollars. I have. No issues giving you sixty minutes of my time, never playing it again. Yeah, but I'm not going to badmouth it again. I, it, it's enjoyable. Yeah, and it's interesting you say that because I I think of there there are certain titles that I think of and I just have just fond memories and nostalgia like Ocarina of Time for uh, the Nintendo 64. I remember looking at that, looking at one of the scenes when I'm in. An, uh, an alleyway in one of the towns. I was like, wow, this is realistic. Look at this. This looks yeah. photorealistic. Then revisiting it later, I was like, what was I thinking? <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the original Gran Turismo, just the endless hours playing that with my brother. Good God, I hated that game. <laughs> <laughs> Why is that? <laughs> that was not the game for me. I got into Project Gotham. I was all like, oh, these guys figured it out. You're more in arcade racing. Then and then and game. then and then fast forward and look at what Project Gotham turned into. Is it even a thing anymore? Oh, Project Gotham. I mean, and maybe they haven't released one in a couple of years or whatever. But that has been the art. Like that has been the simulation racer or whatever. The oh, hell. I did not know that. That's oh yeah, sad. Project Gotham turned into, and that I think Gran Turismo Four was the last big one. I think so. I want to say so. And and when that one was released, if I remember correctly, the gaming community was all like, "Ugh, yeah, you guys lost track of what y'all were doing." And Project yeah. Gotham was like, "We got this." <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. No worries. For me, we'll Forza th- is what kind of took over. That gave me that oh, nice balance in between the two. That is Forza. Which one? My bad. Project Gotham. Oh, you're thinking Forza? Okay. I was thinking Forza. Yes. Okay. Okay. Project Gotham Racing yeah. turned out to be Project Gotham 2. And that goes to show you how long ago, right? <laughs> I like yeah. How long I followed that series. And yes, they became that became Forza. I and you're right. I did not know that. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Wow. Holy crap. I did not know that's what that became. That's what Forza is. That was that entire development team. Wow. They went from Project Gotham, Microsoft bought it, and they released Forza, which people was like, Forza? No, yeah. Like, that's not how you say it. <laughs> I still call it Forza because I did not know that's how it was pronounced. <laughs> Forza Racing, yep. Yeah. Yeah. But again, that that's the like that is the racing game. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. That, I picked that up. I was like, this is awesome. And yep. I never looked at Gran Turismo again because it was just it was a I'll shell just drive my stuff. car if I want to do that. Yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah. Eh. Too much work. But we'll see how everything turns out when Final Fantasy gets here. When I get in my grubby little mitts, yeah, I will definitely be posting pictures of it because it's going to be awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It'll uh, <laughs> it'll be interesting to jump forward. I think, uh, and uh, I, I think with you know with Ioho kind of taking uh, or ending the season, yeah. Um, you know, this past week, I guess I could say it that way. Yeah. Um, It'll be interesting uh, to kind of check in because the idea there is that we kind of throw some, you know, like we we pulse check throughout the off season, yeah. Um, and you can rest assured that like we're gonna talk about these games because yeah. Doom has an ending. You know, that's one of those that we talked to Adam yeah. about. Like, yeah. and so uh, shooters are usually eight to ten hours, right? Yep. Six hours, I think, has been like kind of the average as far as single player campaign yeah. campaign. And then you've got your multiplayer. So like I get that, you know what I mean? Like once he gets his playthrough on that, that's it there. Because I I, I remember playing Halo One. Uh 
hundred times. Yeah. I don't think that's a. I, I don't think that's hyperbole. Yeah. I think I played through the single player campaign for Halo One about a hundred times. Yeah. And it's just it's one of those things that like you've got to find things to do. You know what I mean to make it interesting on another playthrough. Yeah. That's not the case with Final Fantasy. That's not the case with your RPGs. Like yeah. there's a lot there, and oh, sometimes yeah. you can go play thirty hours and you can miss an entire thread. Yeah. If you don't play Persona right, you can totally not get the last 30 hours of something. Oof. Yeah. <laughs> it's you got to go out of your way to to do it well. in order to miss it, but yeah, there's multiple endings, there's multiple different things, and then for people who want there's the achievements, there's the trophies. Yep. yep. So, there's definitely a lot there. Um we'll we'll see how it is. Yeah. We'll definitely see how it is. But we're at about 55 minutes right now. I think we had a pretty decent discussion. Mm -hmm. Um, Where can I find you, Will? You can always find me over at uh, inourhonestopinion.com. But during the offseason, find me on Twitter at CryptonsWill. Yeah, and he might pop up here every now and then. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. (laughs) Never know. (laughs) Um, You can find me at buddytalkspodcast.com. Um also the artful gent on twitter um and all the other stuff where you listen you're streaming just go ahead and look us up give us a listen one of the things that and i hope you don't mind me cutting in here oh, real quick it. one of the things that um i i kind of noticed you you miss out sometimes yeah uh listeners recommendations oh yeah if there's if there's something where you're like oh i'd love to hear what this asshole thinks about oh yeah <laughs> shoot him Shoot them over because that is that's yeah. one of those things that I know that uh, you look forward to as well. Uh, and so do it. Yeah, I mean, we do have a, an email for that, buddytalkspot at gmail.com. So if you yep. have any recommendations or anything, just shoot them my way. Um, thanks again, Will, for joining me. For sure. Um, I Always think a pleasure. I think we're going to jump on into uh, an honest opinion here in a little bit. So uh, it's been a pleasure. We'll see how things go, and we'll talk to you all later. Bye. Yep. 19.